Is this a dream? It cannot be reality. A dream come true? No, you need to wake up now. What? Ah, of course. Pinch yourself to check if you're awake. Okay, I am awake and it's time to face reality. My channel has reached 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, that is awesome! To celebrate this event, I have made this video experimenting with things that so many of you have asked me for over the years. There will be a second video celebrating this event when I receive the silver play button from YouTube. I will unpack it and make a more emotional video about what this means to me. And I will also use some of your comments on my previous video where I ask you why did you subscribe. So there's still time to comment on that video, but for now let's have some fun with some experiments. Since I don't own a sample of what you have been asking for, I contacted Super Magneto for help. And they were kind enough to sponsor this box. So let's see what's in the box. Shredded boxes. It's a box of shredded boxes. Let's dig deeper. Here comes the good stuff. More boxes. As you may tell by my excitement, they contain something special. Let's start with the smallest one. Small is a relative term because this neodymium magnet used to be Super Magnet's biggest one. It is a 2x2x1 two by two by inch block magnet, nicknamed the Death Magnet. A quite catchy name that implies that this should be handled with care. This magnet is perfect for the experienced user who wants to try something more powerful than beginner magnets. At grade in 40 it is also somewhat affordable. This is wrapped in plastic, but don't bring a knife near this magnet. Use scissors and approach from the side like shown. Sliding is fairly easy. Lifting straight off is hard. Once this magnet is unwrapped, you shouldn't bring scissors near it again. You will likely chip the edges and scratch the coating. This is like unwrapping candy for robots. After a little work, we can finally see the magnet. A nice chunk that would easily lift my weight. But um, there's more in the box. Two even larger magnets. And some other stuff for later. The second magnet is a disc magnet. At 70 by 35 mm it is twice the volume of the death magnet. The magnet is so thick that there's no styrofoam on top of it. Be aware of this if you store the magnet in supplied packaging. Luckily I don't have to use scissors to remove this plastic. I would hate having sharp metal objects near this one. This is a nice magnet. I like the thickness of it compared to common disc magnets. Perfect form factor and shape for a beginner magnet, just 20 times too large. And now for the final magnet, the biggest one Super Magneta has ever sold, three times the volume of the death magnet. There's a whole story to be told about this magnet, but that's for another video. Notice how they put warning stickers on all sides. Important for storage of this beast. Unlike the disc magnet, this comes in a packaging well suited for storage. Just be aware that the box isn't magnetically shielded, so keep it away from your computer and other sensitive equipment. This is a block magnet with black epoxy coating and a huge pole surface. It is nicknamed the monolith due to its looks. To me, it looks like it was carved from lava, but it's a normal big neodymium magnet with epoxy over the standard nickel coating. Weighing in at 1.5 kilograms and with a pole surface larger than my palm. This one puts a nervous smile on my face. So let's have some fun with these magnets. For this I'll need something new to me. Let's look deeper into the box. There it is. In this box are two items that so many of you have asked me to make a video about. And I understand why. They are both amazing and fun to play with. 
the first item is suitable for anyone who will not eat it. It's safe and easy to handle. Just keep it clean and you'll have no problems with it. Here it is. Putty. A modern type of Play-Doh with some unusual properties. This one is mixed with tiny metallic particles, most likely iron or iron oxides. It is therefore ferromagnetic, which I can show by dropping a sphere magnet on it in time-lapse. Let me first get the putty out of the tin can. This putty is available in many colors. I chose gold. Ready? Here comes the magnet. This putty really comes alive near powerful magnet. It moves in a very organic way. Let me show it with the three large magnets I unpacked. Here's the depth magnet. Here's the larger disc magnet. And the monolith magnet is simply too large a mouthful for this amount of putty. I was so fascinated by this that I had to try two more tricks. Here we go. All right, enough potty action for now. Time to pack it away because I have a last thing to show you. And I've saved the best for last. The final item is not a toy. It's extremely messy and should be handled with way more care than the potty. It is, however, astonishing. It is also ferromagnetic but reacts much faster than the potty since it is a fluid like water. Hence its name, ferrofluid. This bottle contains half a litre of ferrofluid, which is insane. It is usually sold in small 10 milliliters bottles since ferrofluid is an expensive nanotechnology. The magnetically active ingredient is magnetite, very small particles of it, only around 10 nanometers wide. The magnetite particles are covered with a surfactant so they don't stick together and the whole thing is suspended in a liquid carrier. In this case, petroleum. All of this combined to something that looks like Dirty oil. Not very beautiful. But look what happens when I put a magnet near it. It forms spikes following some of the magnetic field lines. A stunning display of the magnetic field. And this is only a drop of it. Let's go larger with the death magnet. The magnet weighs half a kilogram, but the ferro fluid holds it in place. How do the spikes look with the stronger disc magnet? Looks like the spikes are getting even higher. When the magnet comes closer, the magnetic field gets denser with more field lines. 
the spikes are then lowered since the volume of the ferro fluid is fixed. Therefore, I prefer to have the magnet at some distance with large and strong magnets. It looks so cool with a fewer but bigger spikes. Here shown with the monolith magnet. It will also show much weaker magnetic fields. Here's an old-fashioned credit card with a magnetic stripe. Hard to see the magnetic field, but with a drop of ferro fluid, it's visible. It will run along the magnetic stripe, leaving a thin layer of fluid over the magnetized bits. Here you can clearly see it. Alright, I will go practice and gain more experience with ferro fluid. And when I'm ready for it, the 6-inch mothership magnet will meet all of this alien stuff. Thank you once again for subscribing. I have upgraded to 4K, so hopefully you like the video quality. Please click like if you did.